I shared some personal growth a couple of days ago by saying no thank you to the Scientologist at Hollywood and Highland offering me a flyer. <laughs> My mom fell for that once. I think it might have been in Philly? I'm not sure where. But they like handed a flyer out and she was like, this is interesting. I wonder what it's about. And she like went to the like the little seminar meeting, I'm pretty sure, and then realized what it was and was like, nope. But they're sneaky. Also, this is a long time ago, not like a recent time that my mom fell for Scientology. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely a suppressive person. Yeah, that's me. Oh. Classic mom ceramics. That's really nice of you, Scourge. Oh my god, this this conversation reminds me of the newest episode of the rehearsal, which I will not spoil um, for anyone who hasn't watched it yet. But there's an element of religion. I mean, if you've watched any of the previous episodes, you know there's an element of religion. But um, there's another element of religion in this one. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. The newest episode is about Scourge joining Scientology. Yeah, well, it's a rehearsal. Scourge is like, I want to know what it's like if I joined Scientology. And Nathan Fielder is like, sure, no problem. Let's just, let's do it. Let me build a replica Big Blue and let's practice. And you'll probably have to practice what you'd say to someone with a flyer on the street as well. He would too. He really would. <laughs> I am dying to know what the budget was on that film, or not film, that TV show. And I love how he keeps saying, like, um, he keeps mentioning that, like, HBO paid for this and paid for that. <laughs> Honestly, incredible. follow instructions too. I would love to do one of those things where they put like, what is it? They hook you up to like a lie deten detector shock machine and then give you therapy about all the trauma in your life. He does. He really does, Skirch. That's where HBO Max's whole budget went, and that's why they're going under. <laughs> because of the rehearsal. <laughs> you have a question. What's the blue wheel thing beside me? Oh, that's a part of my pirate ship. That's the wheel to my pirate ship. Just kidding. Um, so that whole table that it's attached to is um, just a table. And 
I move this thing. There's a roller here. You can't see me. There's a metal roller, like a big rolling pin. And when I move this, the rolling pin moves. And this moves the rolling pin up and down. So you can roll clay through there to get um, a flat piece of clay at the, your desired thickness. And it's called a slab, and you can do something called slab building. So like I made paint palettes before, that's what I used to roll out the clay. Um, it's what I used for the ornaments I made anything that uses a flat piece of clay. Sometimes I use that for um, handles. I just roll it out and then I cut into handle shapes. It was a rehearsal for being a streaming service. Be cool to be crushed by that. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Slab me up, Scotty. It actually reminds me of um, I don't know if any any of you follow. Oh, what is her name? Uh, what's her name? She's like an engineer person. She makes silly robots, and she released a video this week of making a bubble wrap music machine. Um, and it's really really cool everyone to watch it but she uses like a rolling device to pop the bubble wrap and make it play songs yes Simone um, it starts with it, it's like G-I-E-R-T-Z or something, but it's not pronounced like that because it's Swedish. It's like Yertz, Yitz, Ye? Yetch, Yetch, Simone Yetch. I think that's how you pronounce her last name because she has the Yetch store now where she sells things. Um, creations of hers. Yeah, thank you, Zuki. Yeah, that's the video. Oh my god, my Streamlabs is not working again. Why? Because none of the... Or maybe it is. Have you guys seen the pop-ups of, like, Discord and... Uh, or my social media, specifically? Oh my. Yep, that's her Wikipedia. Yeah, I never knew how to pronounce it until she opened her store and was like, I named it after the phonetic way to say my name. And I'm like, oh, I was assuming it was Gertz this whole time. I don't know Swedish. Okay, it's working. Thank you, Zuki. I wasn't sure. I need to check. I cannot tell how much clay I have left. Okay, I can go in a little bit. Just a little bit. But I don't want to go any thinner. Okay. Oh, you just scrolled up. That works too. I wish I could be her and just make all the things. It seems so fun to use tons of machinery like that. You've never heard of her. She's so cool. 
She's so cool. You should watch all of her videos. They're not very long and they're all super funny and like really impressive. She has a very cute dog. She is the opposite of hot. <laughs> So, okay, here's like another fun fact about her. Actually, here's two fun facts about her because she's just so cool. She is from Sweden, right? She used to live on a houseboat in Sweden. Like she bought a houseboat in her early 20s, I think, and like lived on it and took care of it and like lived in a houseboat. And then the other cool thing is that her mom is... Of, is famous in Sweden. She <laughs> had her own TV show uh, because she's a medium. Like, she was a medium on TV. <laughs> like, the speaking of ghosts and stuff, I think. And then Simone is just, like, so unlike that. Like, she's an engineer scientist. Like, <laughs> it's so wild. But whenever they hang out, it's so cute. Like, her mom will came to visit her recently. It's so wholesome. She's worked with the uh, with Mythbusters. She's in that crowd. Hi Streamlabs. I should name my bot, my Streamlabs bot something. I think you can do that. No, she was not. She's not problematic. Yeah, potty but good. What, is other potty bad? Is there like a good and an evil potty? I didn't know people had such strong feelings about potty, which is the bot in my Discord. In case, in case you didn't know. watching is it a YouTube video I don't know um, there's just an ad before something and 
I think it was Matt Damon, and it had all these like things. Oh, what what little phrase did they use? It was basically like adventurers or brave or something, something inspirational like that with Matt Damon. And then it was a freaking Crypto.com commercial. It was like ew. Come on, Matt Damon. Saying that like people who invest in crypto are like the next astronauts, basically. Oh, is that a Super Bowl ad? I don't know why I got it today. Oh, was it Potty who sent Moses that text earlier today? <laughs> what is Potty getting into? Nothing good. Did uh did Moses ever reply? Because I left when they were like still debating whether or not he should reply. Yeah, it's for the bowl. That's right. Oh, yikes. That's a big yikes, Suki. I don't like that. Not the yikes I do like. Oh, yeah. He, he, re he was going to reply with... Um, that the the liberals like took over his Venmo. He got a reply saying if he was ready to learn more or something. Oh, yeah, big old scam. Big old scam. Scammer's not even interested in helping out the former president. Yeah, what the heck? What's up with scammers these days? Okay. So, here's a little bigger bowl. It's a little taller. I gave it a, a nice thick foot. Try to do a little beveling on there. It's the details that no one cares about that I have fun adding. But it's got a nice, pretty nice shape to it. Okay, I'm to the mugs. Some I might need to use some extra clay. Thank ya. Thanks, Pichu. Um, I didn't get a bull haircut. I just want to put that out there. It might look like it right now. 
but I do have more hair back here. It's not a bowl, not a bowl haircut. I think that's important for everyone to know. Nothing wrong with a bowl haircut. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, Pichu. I am going to add a little bit of clay because this is taller, so there's more chance that it can fall over. Oh, no, the showdy. I think kids can say all those things, right? No need to get rid of them. I think they, we should use them all. I wonder what, what Pichu said. I can't, there's like a spoiler on. I didn't even know you could spoil on Twitch. Oh no, what is a Zuki? I'm scared. The cups are not as dry as the bowls, so this should be easier. Ooh, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got, Pichu? Ooh, that's a lot of cash. Well, I don't know how I, I feel about my mods being able to be bought like that. It's not great. Like if someone comes in and asks if I want to be famous, I feel like Zuki's going to be like, I won't delete you if you make me famous. I feel like the trust between mod and streamer has been broken a little bit today. some stuff to my Etsy last week. Check it out. Yeah, they should go after the mods first, you're right. Come on, stick. Oh, nice, Suki. That's a good secret, just between us two and no one else. already get off center. It wasn't about you, Pichu.
We were just talking about getting famous. Oh, yikes, that's not very many. That's kind of embarrassing. Should I come out with, with an NFT? Would you guys buy one? I would make it cheap. And then it would get more It'd be cheap and there wouldn't be very many of them. So like not lucrative for me because I wouldn't make that many or make that much money to begin with. But if there's not very many and I make them ex uh, cheap, there'll still be not very many of them. So they'll be valuable. Mall left <laughs> Yeah, I should do that now. A free NFT with every piece. For a second, I was like, how did my hair get in front of my face? And I was going to, like, throw it back. But then I realized it's supposed to be there. Ooh, that's still a pretty heavy bottom. I need to take a lot off the bottom. It's just too heavy. I don't want a super heavy mug to drink out of. I wish I could trim it out of the inside. I don't think I can like really get in there very well. Hmm. I can try. The bottom is not like too thin. It's just like this part that's thick.
Go run safety. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to trim the inside, but it might be very challenging. Need a sharp, sharp tool. Oh yeah, she also had two brain tumors. <laughs> Another thing that is just crazy about her life. I mean, that's not really cool, but it's very um, amazing. Incredibly impressive. Keep up, PSB. What are you waiting for? No time like the present. It's actually working a bit. You can give me feedback. You guys should all do it. Give me feedback, please. Give me feedback. What can I do better? What have I done that you liked that? Woo, that didn't work. That really didn't work. <laughs> Tell me to be uh, less clumsy. Um, what can I do more of? Do less of? Should I get more haircuts? Less haircuts? What do the people want? It's the best way to find out. Oh, I thought you could write stuff. Can you not? Okay, well, pick one of the five then. You don't have to choose any of those. You don't have to lie. Oh, okay. I don't, I um, honestly, like I've seen that on other people's profiles, but I didn't know how they got it there. So I assumed there was like a setting I had to pick, but it's nice to know that it, it's just there automatically. Um, I guess. But now I have to figure out where um, it shows me the feedback.
I get an email once a week? Okay. I guess I'll have to wait. Three options. Oh, silly. Does it give you the option to give feedback again or is it gone? Trying more of a worm technique right now. Uh, it's grayed out, okay. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's not the right angle. I think this one is the best one. I could use this paintbrush to dampen it again instead of the sponge. That works. Oh shit. Oh my god. That was almost really bad. Almost. My thumb, because my nails are really long and I haven't cut them, my thumb like nicked it right here and then the whole thing got caught and flew off. Woo! I caught it though. It's not over. I saved it. Cup is okay, party. That's close enough. Sometimes I get a little lazy with centering. Boring. This is why trimming, like, I like trimming, but it's tedious and very annoying because to get it right you constantly have to like check it no oh, cup is not over oh cup is okay party yes yes that's better
look at all that. It's getting better. It's it's one week birthday. It's one week old. Megan and Skirch are still here. They're probably not. But I I want them to be on the lookout for a certain celebrity. It has an I I guess it's it's in uh utero right now. It's still forming. When does a cup become a cup? After the second kiln, after it comes out of the second kiln, second firing. Very difficult angle to get at. I think I'm gonna be finished trying to get the inside out soon. It does feel a lot better though. We need another paintbrush. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, Why did I get this one wet too? That was dumb of me. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, I just need to turn the top part now. It does feel a lot less heavy on the bottom though. I'm happy with that.
need to get another paintbrush because I keep getting them all wet. And I need a dry paintbrush to get all the little bits off the bottom. I should just wait until it's dry or to try and get all the little bits and pieces off. So now there's like paintbrush pieces in there too. That didn't work. Um, sure if I want to give it a handle actually because it kind of looks just cool like this but there it is Yeah, I really like that shape. It turned out well. It's 8 o'clock. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm getting a little tired. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish all of this. didn't really have a proper lunch. I had some, I got Shake Shack yesterday and I got fries and I didn't eat the fries so I got, I ate the fries for lunch. Did I have anything else? I had a granola bar on the way here. But I think I'm just lacking energy because I haven't eaten much. for that long walk which doesn't help yeah you're right but it was like a weird time of day you know and I was like I'm not that hungry and I live to regret it sometimes you regret things it happens thing that I haven't figured out if I like or not. I feel like I need water on it, um, but it, you put it on here so it's like equal distribution when you're 
pressing down, but I feel like my fingers, I don't know, doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. So I end up just holding on to it like this. Need a better, better tool. Got a little too aggressive, I think. getting caught. I haven't figured out what's the best tool to use for this one. I need to draw on a sharpie just concentric circles so I can know where to, to line it up instead of having to center it every time. Never forget the day in high school you just graduated and had to go pick up all your art from the art rooms on your way out. You dropped all of your pottery and smashed it. Oh my god, in front of 40, 15 year olds. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, like, that's not even embarrassing. That's just tragic. I'm sure they were all, like, felt so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, that's tragic. A couple weeks ago, this is nowhere near comparison, but um, I just, I was moving a plate from my table to my, like within one room from the table to the counter and it was a really nice ceramic bowl that I had bought from a local ceramic artist. Um, 
and my hand it just like dropped it it like just gave out and just dropped it on the floor and it shattered and I was like oh my god why <laughs> no because if it's like one of my pieces it's like I can just remake that but that was I can't buy that again so sad and then also that same day I was moving my um coffee table like a couple inches and I had a candle on it and the candle fell over and the glass broke on carpet it broke on carpet and I've moved my table a million times and I've probably dropped that candle a million times and it's never broken but then why in one day do I break a bowl and a candle I I don't know that was like an awful weekend on top of <laughs> that happening. <laughs> Did not have any luck that day. Ugh. I'm being too lazy about um, trimming this and it's showing. The sticky pad has its limits. So often when I break something and if I like put it on Instagram, someone will respond with like, oh, you should do that thing where they like put it back together and paint it gold. I don't remember what it's called now. Um, or you should like keep all the pieces, broken pieces of yours and do like a mosaic or thing. And I'm like, great ideas, but I don't want to do either of those things. I don't want to look at this piece again. I'm so sad. I don't know how to do either of those things. It's not like it's easy. And I don't want to learn a new thing. <laughs> this is already enough. Sometimes pieces can have a second life and sometimes I just don't ever want to look at them again. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, right? No one's got time for that. Also, like, it's very specialized. I don't think you can, it, it can easily do it. And I don't have gold luster. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay like $50 a bottle for a little gold luster to save a one broken piece. But it's nice that people think, you know, give suggestions, I mean. It's nice that people have ideas, try and make me feel better. I think um, there's a potter on Instagram named Hetty Yang who I follow and I'm pretty sure she has a really good reel where she's just like I don't want to do that I don't want to do that I don't want to do that it's just like that word that phrase over and over again I'm like yes <laughs> that's how I feel
pretty sure they smashed the pot on purpose in places so it smashes the right way. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't you can't take a piece that has a bunch of tiny little shards. It has to have like a really nice edge. It can't be a million pieces. Exactly. It has can't just be any pot. I think maybe like if you do break one on accident and it happens to be in um like one clean break maybe you can do it but oh I need to trim this a lot more
turn the inside a little. This is much easier to get at than the other one. part to the last one I trimmed. This one goes out and in. Nice. Nice 
nice, nice, nice. trim but I'm pretty tired I'm pretty wiped I had a long day and I didn't eat enough so I think I'm gonna call it a day but I might be back tomorrow we'll see we'll see I don't know because I don't want those to wait um, sit for too long but I need to put the handles on them and I need to I wanted to maybe do some carving we'll see um, and I want to put some underglaze on them which is just like colors basically painting them um, but it, they're just very bright colors so I might do like some patterns with those we'll see we'll see if I have time tomorrow but it might have to wait. So, I don't know. But thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. No, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go home and eat and find something to do. Um, but thanks for watching. And I will be back sometime for the next stream. Bye, guys.